Hello, I'm Miss Yen. Nice to see you today. How are you today? I hope you are good. In this lesson today, we are going to learn Unit 13. Where's my book? Lesson 1. Today, we are going to practice asking and answering questions about the location of singular things in the house. Now, let's come to the first part. One, look, listen, and repeat. I have two pictures, A and B. Now look at the pictures and tell me who are they. Yes, they are Peter and his mother. Where are they? Okay, they are in the living room. Now listen to the conversation between Peter and his mother and tell me what are they talking about. Where is my book, Mum? I can't see it in my room. It's here, dear, on the chair. Is the pen there too, Mum? No. It's not on the chair, it's there, on the table. Okay students, are there any new words? Yes, there are some new words and phrases that we have to read again. Now, look at the board and read after me. Where? Can't. See. Here, there, chair, on the chair, there, on the table. Now open your notebook and write down your words, please. When? Where? Where? We use where to ask about the location of things or people. Where? Now listen and repeat after me. Where? Good job! Poster. 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 A poster is a big picture that is printed on paper and put on the wall for decoration. Poster. 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 Now listen and repeat after me. Poster. Well done. Bad. 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 Bad is a place that you can go for a sleep. Now listen and repeat after me. Bad. Great. Chair. 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 A chair is a piece of furniture for people to sit on. It has a back, a seat, and four legs. Chair. 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 Now listen and repeat after me. Chair. Perfect. Picture 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 A picture is usually put in a frame. A picture is put on the wall or in a book. Now listen and repeat after me. Picture 
Well done. Coat. 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 A coat is a piece of outdoor clothing to keep warm and dry. Coat. Now listen and repeat after me. Coat. Great. Born. 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 A ball is a round object that used in sport or activities. I have a ball. The ball is brown. Ball. 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 Now listen and repeat after me. Ball. Well done. Now come back to the dialogue. Are there any new structure? Yes, they are. Where's my book? Is here and is there. When you want to ask about the location of singular things in the house, we say where's my or where's the plus singular noun. For example, where's my book? Or Where's the book? Remember, where's is short for where is. It's shorter and faster. We say where's a lot in normal English. To answer this question, you say is here, or you can say is there. Remember, is is short for it is. Now listen, where's my book? It's here. Where's the book? It's there. Now look at the board and watch a short video. Where's my book, Daddy? I can't find it in my room. Look, it's here on the table. Is the pen there too, Daddy? No, it's not on the table. It's there, on the chair. Sarah, don't make a mess. I'm sorry. In order to practice asking and answering about the location of singular things in the house, let's come to the next part, to a point and say. Now all of you look at the pictures. Use your finger to point to the words under the pictures and then read after me. Poster, bed, chair, picture, coat, board. Now I ask you the question, where's the? If it's close to you, you say it's here. If it's far from you, you say it's there. Ready? Yes, let's start. Where's the poster? Where's the bed? Where's the chair? Where's the picture? Where's the coat? Where's the board? Do you have the answer? Yes, very good. Now check your answer. Where's the poster? It's here. Good job. Where's the bed? It's here. Well done. 
Where's the chair? It's here. Great. Where's the picture? It's there. Good job. Where's the coat? It's there. Well done. Where's the ball? It's there. Great. Now it's my turn. You ask and I answer. Okay? Yes. Where's the poster? It's here. Where's the picture? It's there. Where's the bed? It's here. Where's the coat? It's there. Where's the chair? It's here. Where's the ball? It's there. Okay, we have practiced asking and answering a lot about the location. Now let's come to the next part to practice more. Three, let's talk. Now look at the picture. There are many things in the pictures. There's a bed. There's a picture. There's a coat. There's a poster. And there's a ball. In the picture, the boy is asking about the location by the questions. Where's the? And the girl is answering by the sentence, is here or is there? Now listen. Where's the poster? It's here. Coat. It's there. Where's the picture? It's there. Okay. Can you practice asking and answering like them? Yes, very good. Now I ask and you answer. Alrighty? Yes, very good. Where's the bed? Where's the picture? Where's the coat? Where's the poster? Where's the board? Do you have the answer? Yes, of course. Now check your answer. Where's the bed? It's there! Well done! Where's the picture? It's there! Good job! Where's the ball? It's here! Great! Where's the coat? It's there! Good job! Where's the poster? It's here. Well done. Now it's my turn. You ask and I answer. Okay? Yes. Where's the poster? It's here. Where's the coat? It's there. Where's the picture? It's there. Where's the ball? It's here. Where's the bed? It's there. Okay, students, we have practiced speaking a lot. Now let's come to the next part to practice listening. For listen and take. 
I have three groups of pictures. Group one, in both pictures, there's a poster on the table. The difference is the poster in picture A is far from you and the poster in picture B is close to you. Group two, in both pictures, there is a ball on the chair, but there is one difference. Do you know? Yes, the ball in picture A is far from you, and the ball in picture B is close to you. Group 3 In both pictures, there's a coach on the chair, but the difference is, the coach in picture A is close to you, and the coach in picture B is far from you. Okay, now listen and take the right picture you hear. 1. Where is my poster? It's there, on the table. Oh, I see. Thanks. 2. Where's my ball? It's here, on the chair. Thanks. Let's play football. Three. Where's my coat? It's here, on the chair. Thanks, Mum. Have you finished? Now, listen again and check the answer. One. Where's my poster? It's there, on the table. Oh, I see. Thanks. Okay, it's picture A. We hear is there, on the table. They is far from you. So, the picture A is right. Two. Where's my ball? It's here, on the chair. Thanks. Let's play football. Yes, it's picture B. We here is here, on the chair. So, picture B is correct. Three. Where's my coat? It's here on the chair. Thanks, Mum. Okay, very good. It's picture A. We here is here on the chair. So, picture A is correct. You did very well. Now come to the next part to practice reading and writing. 5. Read and complete. Now look at the pictures. I have 4 pictures. A, B, C, and D. And I also have 4 sentences. Now read the sentences carefully before putting here or there in the gut. Now let's start. Two minutes for you. you finish? Yes, now check your answer. 1. This is my bed. It is good. It is here. Okay, now look at the pictures again. The bed is close to you. So you use here is correct. 2. This is my desk. It is good job. It is here next to the bed. 
Yes, the desk is close to you. So you write here is correct. Three. They are my school bags and books. They are well done. They are here on the desk. Yes, the bags, the books are close to you. So we write here is correct. Four. There are posters, pictures, and maps. They are good. They are there on the board. Look at the pictures again. The posters, pictures, and maps are far from you. So the correct word is there. Wow, perfect. You did very well. Now let's relax by singing an English song. Six. Let's sing. The posters on the wall. The posters on the wall. E I E I E O. The posters on the wall. The balls under the bed. The balls under the bed. E I E I E O. The balls under the bed. Oh, very funny. Very interesting. Do you like these songs? Yes, very good. Okay, students, we have learned many new words and structure to ask and answer about the location in this lesson today. Now let's take a look at them again before we say goodbye. It's the end of our lesson today. I hope you'll have a lot of fun and enjoy this lesson. Try to remember all the words and practice more the structure at home. If you have any questions, please write your comment under this video. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my 26 channel. Thank you for your watching. Goodbye and see you soon. Bye!